Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're braving a little bit of the wind today. I want to get back over here, see maybe if I can get out of some of the wind. Uh, anyways, the biggest thing I want to do today is test the um, Fire Tablet. So I've got the Amazon Fire Tablet. I did the other episode where I showed how it connected and side loaded and set up the web page. Now what I want to do is actually go ahead and fly with it. So I've already checked hover and everything. I'm clear to fly. I've got the spark set up over there. So let's go ahead and see if it launches. So uh, we're going ahead. We've hit the launch. And there we go. We should have screen recording also recording. So it's a little bit windy so it's not going to be a big flight today. I am going to set uh, recording on. Do a quick kind of walk around of this take a look at it and again we have the uh, spark notice I'm in front of it so the uh, sensors are working and again apologies for the wind noise uh, again I want to just try to get a, a quick video in here showing this working so again we've got screen recording we're going to take it up and we're going to kind of yaw it around I'm not going to go too high with it today because again we got some pretty good sized winds and uh, I am going to kick it. I do have it in sport mode, so I am going to kind of kick it around. I think I got it in sport mode. Yeah, I got it in sport mode. So again, I'm just going to kind of fly it around a little bit. Uh, let me switch it back and forth and see if... There we go. So we're just uh, fighting some of the wind. You notice the wind probably picking up really heavy behind me. And so... Uh, Again, we're just coming out of that circle. We're doing another, another big tight circle, opening it up, coming out of it. Another tight circle, coming out of it. And I pushed a button and I need to make sure I didn't push anything. And where did it go? There's where it went. Not sure where it actually went. I pushed a button and blanked out the screen, so uh, let's take it up. Oh, there it is. All righty, so we've, we've got uh, visual on it again. So uh, uh, I bumped this function button, which brought up the uh, intelligent flight control. So anyways, take it back out, do a couple more loops around with it. I tell you what, I really enjoy flying this in sport mode. And and again, really like that yellow on the front so I can kind of see where it's going. It definitely needs a bit of room for sport mode. So we'll do some tight loops here. We'll take it out of the tight loop. Throw it in another tight loop. Let it go back around. Whip it around in a tight loop. And we'll take it back out in a tight loop. And bring it, whip it back around. And... at the, uh, the tablet. And again, sorry for the wind noise. It is really, really windy out here. Um, but again, I uh, just want to do some yawn around so I can see the tablet here. The uh, I'm using the OTG cable with it, so uh, I'm really getting some good response on the tablet. So I uh, really can't complain there. And... Uh, what I want to do is I want to try just getting some video gimbling this down. And we're just kind of whipping it around here. I've got the gimbal, instead of facing forward, I've got it facing down. So it's going to be, I think, a little bit backwards looking. Whipping it back around. And we're keeping it in a semi-loop here. Well, actually, probably a little bit more than a semi-loop. 
lightening up on the yaw to open it up. So I'm sticking forward with a light yaw. And uh, bringing it back, I want to see the yellow. I don't want to get it too far out there. And again, we're just kind of bringing it back around. The wind's pushing it a little bit more than it normally would. And uh, put it into a tight loop. What I do is I actually go into, as I go from a bigger loop, so I'm going into straight. Now I'm going to put it into a mid loop. And, and you see it gets tight, and then what I do is put it into a real tight loop with full yaw until I bring it back around, then open it back up, and then just kind of spin it on its axis there a little bit. And uh, so, again, a lot of fun, a lot of fun here. I just wish it wasn't so windy. And taking it back. And again, I'm hoping, hopefully I'm getting this all on the screen recorder. I did one flight already and I uh, did not get it on the screen recorder. So I want to set it up. Uh, again, I want to kind of go back and check uh, what we got going on. So the screen recorder is looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty good on battery, just making sure everything's still clear around me, which it is. And so uh, it's good. So it's uh, just hovering up there. So let's, let's just do a punch up. I don't want to get too high because, again, the wind is... Uh, pretty heavy duty out there. So again, we're, we're looking kind of down. And uh, take it backwards. Now let's bring it down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to make this a short flight because the biggest thing I want to do is test the tablet. And uh, again, everything seems to be working on, on the functionality. Um, because uh, now I say that and it dropped back into uh, I think I think I keep hitting the buttons on the controller is what I think keeps happening. So uh, anyways, I want to gimbal back up and see where my button is so I can see where the heck I'm at. So I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back this way so I can land it. And uh, there we are. And I just want to bring it in a little bit closer. And then we'll bring it back over and see how close we can get it to to that pad and we'll bring it in whoops bring it in Joe we're going backwards notice it no, can you see it notice it try to compensate itself with that wind the wind picked up so uh, notice it trying to compensate itself. I'm going to switch it back out of sport mode. And let's see if we get it. So that was a pretty good landing. So now I am going to see if I got screen recording and my eyes are so ill adjusted to this. And now we're into low battery warning. The glare out here is so bad I can't really see. Well, it seems like we're having a bit of a problem with the DU screen recorder on here. So, uh, obviously, I don't think we've captured any of the screen video. So it starts and it does record, but it doesn't record for a very long period. Now, this is the 8 gig tablet. This is the small tablet and I'm wondering if it's simply running out of space to store it. So I'm going to have to experiment around with that to see if I can change settings to save it to the card. Now I do have a 128 gig card in, in the unit itself so uh, I'm trying to get out of the wind here a little bit. Uh, but anyways it does work with the DJI GO 4 app so that's a big plus. So again um, 
Big thumbs up for this one. $29 tablet, Fly in the Spark. Good deal. Uh, remember, I got the webpage. I'll have it down below. Uh, I'll follow up a little bit more on the DU screen recorder. I think it's got something to do with memory because I did record just a short video. I actually recorded two short videos on here that were about a minute long and it did it successfully. So I'm thinking what's happening is it's running out of space when I'm doing a 10 or 15 minute video. Um, you know, because my other uh, phones and tablets that I'm using are 32 gigs. And I think with all the applications loaded on here, it's running short of space. And I think that's the problem. But anyways, hey, big things, just thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, hey, uh, let me know what you think about having for lunch. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.